Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful painting by only using Lumino Tolos May palette and don't forget to subscribe if you have to subscribe yet and please don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to know my latest videos in the future Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using muted colors in palette and I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant, the medium blue, and the umber. So I'm using muted colors because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and these are the possible brushes that I'm going to use. I'll be using three brushes only because I'm just um, painting um, a basic tutorial today. So I'll be using this number eight nano flat brush, long handled, number eight. Nylon flat brush short handle and I have here the number one liner brush for details gonna show zero double zeros and triple zeros okay so those are just the possible brushes and this is my canvas it's um, 10 by 12 inches the three coats of prime white acrylic so this, you can also use gesso I made it myself and we need water to thin the paint and water spray if you're gonna need to wet our canvas and, and it will be easier for us to blend the colors and also you can use this water spray to maintain the the uh, to uh, to make the palette um, wet so that it, it the paints won't dry easily okay so I think I'm gonna start now I'm, today I'm gonna paint um, uh, uh, water droplets on top of a leaf so this will just be a basic tutorial but, but I'm gonna do my best to make it as realistic as possible okay so I'm gonna start now so first we're gonna do a little sketching I have here the number 8 flat brush long hand uh, short handle and I will be using I think I'll be using blue with a little white to make it lighter so that we can see it we can see the sketch on our canvas and as you see here everyone I already cover it with uh, green paints so that um, I have uh, first coats and it will be easy for me to add, a add the second coats and details okay so I advise to cover it first with to paint it first with green color okay you can use dark but I recommend using green so it's just a mixture of blue and yellow okay so let's continue for the sketching Here, I am going to create the skates first. will be a little round with pointed tip leaf okay, and this will be the center it will divide the entire leaf into two and the stem here So we have now the sketch. So I'll make sure that um, it's pretty sharp on my on the video. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I'm gonna start now. So I'll be using a little bigger brush, which is the number eight nylon fat brush long handle. And I'm gonna mix for green because it's the leaf is all green. So yellow and blue. And white. So I'm gonna put more blue color with some white. So we're gonna do uh, the reflection first. So I'm gonna make this part lighter. 
No oh, wait, it should be more bluish. So I think I'm gonna use more blue here and white. There. So it should be bluish in color. Color should be a lot bluish. Okay, you can spray it with water to make it a little wet. I think I don't like this canvas because it's very rough. here there I know I'm gonna use some blue and yellow So I think I'm gonna use another blue. So I'll be using the primary blue because uh, ultramarine blue has really something a little different. It creates a little different color, a different green. So I'm gonna use this tall blue here with some yellow. Yes, so I like this green. I sent a white tall blue. It's um, primary blue. So I recommend using it. Actually, still you can use, you can continue using the other blue, but I like this blue because you can create a closer than a good green color. So I'm gonna do my best to make it as smooth as possible. Okay, and now I'm gonna use more green, more yellow, to make some yellow green. So I'm gonna make this part yellow green Yeah. 
Okay, add more here. And then we're gonna sp spread the lighter. Um, color here, the, the highlight. I'm gonna make it uh, spread more. Okay, so that is very, very smooth um, color out here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna proceed first to the background. So I'm gonna make the background a little darker. Okay. So I'm gonna let it dry first before I'm gonna proceed, and I'm gonna proceed first in the background. So I'm gonna use this umber and this blue actually um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put some turns on the on the leaf on the side of the leaf so this is actually um, a rose leaf There are actually turns on the side. Careful, everyone, you might hurt yourself. <laughs> so, just use the tip of your brush to create those th turns there. Like that. use this and add a little yellow to make some greens so what I like about the green using the ultramarine blue is that it has a very nice green color it's not so um, strong so I like that for it is but this time I'm gonna use a, a better a primary blue it has a better green If you can secure your primary blue, that is that is actually better. Compared to, compared to the other types of green color. There, I'm gonna add the blue umber to make it dark. I'm gonna also put some yellow to make some greens. So I'll oh, make sure that this part is dark and you can actually see only the leaves you can put the the turns later
do not waste my, my time everyone <laughs> so I think maybe I'll just uh, make the background time lapse in time lapse okay okay there so I think I'm gonna proceed now on adding the adding some terms first before uh, retouching the, the details or I'm gonna put the I'm not really sure what the vein veins here of the leaf. So um it will be um a red this color so I'm gonna use the red and white with a little umber. And yellow. So I am using a very small brush, which is the number one liner brush. And then we're gonna put some um, reddish color on the turns. So we'll just put it on that on the tip of the turn. Now I'm gonna put a little um, darker tones on the or shades on the on the on the veins. Okay. So here I am using the the port umber to create some. Tiny details, it is to lead shades. Now I'll be adding some more veins, small, smaller veins. So I'm gonna use more white and red. Yeah. 
and also on the other side. Some will be um, not so visible. So some actually are really small. So I'm, I think I'm gonna start making it look more realistic. So on the veins, I'm gonna put some highlights here. So I'm gonna use some white and add it to the um, to the reddish brown. And then I'm gonna put some highlights here at the center. Now, um, little by little, I'm gonna make this as realistic as possible. So, I'm gonna start adding some more details. Okay, so I'm starting with some highlights. So, I'm gonna use this white, mixing it with the bluish tone here. start putting it here I'm gonna put more blue there spread a little here, more here too bright and also I'm gonna add more highlights Ok, 
Okay. That's it. Okay, and also here, I think I'm gonna put more um, darker green, so yellow and blue. Just to add some shades on this part. Just a little shade. Um, a little bluish shade like this and you need to spread it a little there so we can now see clearly the look of the leaves so I want more on the other part on our side here I'm not sure if this is really too bright, so I think I'm gonna. So maybe I will start adding now the. The. Let's call this the. The water droplets. So here I'm gonna use this blue and yellow to make some dark greens. So maybe I will use a smaller brush. It is the. Uh, number one liner brush. So here I'm gonna put a random droplets. So you can actually put uh, some different size shapes. And you need to make a little shadings. So we're gonna use the dark tones first before the highlights. Okay. Let's put markings first. So it is, it is still wet. Show the light coming from the from the right side. There. I'm gonna put more droplets. So a little shadings Ok 
Okay. I'm gonna put more here. Please as much as possible. Whatever size you're gonna put is okay. There. Okay. Adding a little smaller tablets on the centers. So here I'm gonna use the pure white and then we can put the highlights here. There. I've been on 
the small droplets you can put some highlights So also on this part you can put some light but I mean, we're not done yet we still need to put more darker shades okay so I'll be using the blue with a little red and yellow here more red and blue this will create a darker green We can create a darker green here on the, on the, on the sides. Now let's add more highlights. So I want to make this more realistic. So I'm gonna use more yellow green and a little white. So here I'm gonna lighten this part and even this one. it might take me um, an hour to finish this one but I'm just enjoying creating a realistic um, leaf so maybe I'll just extend my time and if you think this is too long uh, actually I'm, I am um, Actually, I can stop it until here, but I want this to make it more uh, look realistic. I, I can't, I, I will go beyond realism, so that will be a nice um, or it will be a little different compared to my other tutorials. So, so far, I am enjoying this one. I'm doing adding more details so this is how we're gonna do it just add more greens on the tablets ok 
Okay. Now I'll be adding more white here. Okay, so here I am adding more and then I'm gonna put some highlights I'm gonna put some highlights here on the other side so I'll be using more yellow and white because we're gonna put some highlights here or some reflection also here Okay, and then I'm gonna more retouch yellow and blue. Put it more shadings. I'm not sure but for me it really looks realistic as of now so I want more I want more realism I'm gonna use a lighter greens Okay, I can put it anywhere but don't put too much. I'm gonna use white. This will be the last retouch. Okay, so I think I am done everyone, so that is how we're gonna put um, some realistic um, droplets on in the leaf. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put some stems first before I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop painting. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make this red.
Okay. So, there you go, everyone. I think I am done. So, hopefully, you get something out of this. This is just a very simple and basic tutorial on how to paint a realistic um, droplets on a realistic leaf of a. Uh, I think this is a leaf of a. Uh, um, a rose. Okay, so. Okay, everyone. So, I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.